Can you imagine an extraterrestrial race that hunts for sport on different planets throughout the galaxy? That's basically the predator species in a nutshell. When you see just their appearance at first, you'd be like, man, they're scary looking, but they're also, you can tell they have some sense by the way they're dressed, by the technology they have. They have ridiculous technology way beyond normal humans for the most part to be able to travel the universe. Like, the universe is really vast, but they can still travel from planet to planet with their ships and stuff. But how strong are they, are we talking? They have a history of ripping out spines, and the different predators on Magova are not going to be the same exact predator being. You know, there's going to be a multitude of different beings. The race in general is pretty strong, and I'm going to smash the gun on the ground with raw strength to break it. They have high-tech gear that allows them to cloak and uncloak, aka go invisible, blades for them to use, things that help them to see better, night vision type stuff, laser cannons, cannons and stuff. I'm gonna be honest, their gear is probably more destructive than their actual super strength, and their super strength is actually impressive when it comes to beings like the Predators. I mean, their gear is highly advanced, they have a lot of versatile type of technology. Let's get into that real quick before we get into how strong they are physically and stuff like that, and the destructive capacity of their weapons and blast power. They got a cloaking device that can kill you while they're invisible. It's something they've always done no matter which movie we're talking about. They have, A lot of them have a similar technology to this. You be dead before you even know it. How do you dodge what you cannot see? And God forbid if you're a cop, you're not safe. He can stealth kill you. When you don't even know what's going on, it's too late. They're even effective against video feeds. So if you catch him on camera while he's cloaked, he's basically just invisible on camera. And like, it even affects the radar to where you can't even track him on the radar, bro. Those readings, though, they make no sense. A ghost image may be a reflection of Sadiac's own signal. Like, yeah, Chameleon. Highly advanced scanner technology lets him see their targets in 3D mode, so you can get a visual on how they are. Get an idea of what's inside of you. It's kind of like on some x-ray type stuff. Like, yeah, being able to scan the cancer in this human, see through the body or a skeleton. Can hear local heartbeats, you know what I mean, so you can know what's going on in the surrounding area. Shows heat vision, ultraviolet, so all the different spectrums, you know, you can see. They have these technologies like the smart disc that kind of, it's like heat seeking missiles that follow you that are like blades at the same time. It's something that's commonly seen for them to throw as a projectile slicing through stuff it's good for crowd control and stuff of that such they have no problem using these against any type of villain whether it be xenomorphs or humans they don't care they just use it against everybody like on this occasion this thing tried to blitz him he reacted really quick and threw the projectile to slice it and on this occasion here throwing it as a projectile if he doesn't want to get closed so you're not even safe from far away basically they have a molecular chainsaw these discs possess these blades would vibrate at a subsonic frequency giving it unmatched cutting power and these wrist blades do damage you already know that's a fact they even said to be harder than diamonds the dude you thought them heat seeking shurikens was a beast well you got plasma cannons too they got different type of am ammunition on top of it that can be another way of blasting you from far away lasers to have target you you're just not safe in any angle man blast you like that see these kind of blasters can even one shot beings in their own tier letting you know how dangerous it is compared to their actual own physical an example of something like this would be how it does this type of stuff cutting trees in half to the environment and stuff like that crossover comments that you can take with a grain of salt <laughs> they fought beings like the darkness and you know predator and them you know i gotta hear about the darkness being they can blast apart armored vehicles same with military jeeps same with t-rexes it's almost like bringing a gun to a knife fight it's almost like unfair and unhonorable how overpowered this is there's a reason why they don't use these in battles or training each other it's overpowered your honest best bet is to make sure you disarm him first and then try to fight him because he ain't fighting with these bladed melee sticks that he she can use in combat. It can kind of do this to the alien armor of an alien queen. Like, yeah, they on some Goku power pole extend type stuff. It's pretty evident when you see them using different type of stuff like this in combat. Sword combat, spear combat, you know, warrior race type stuff. Then I mentioned they got a harpoon launcher. Like, yeah, more projectiles can launch single or multiple harpoons like on some rapid fire stuff. Then be invisible and stab you that way. So he can pull up on you, shoot, 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 then come up to you melee, go invisible, boom, boom, boom. You know, you just screwed. Then plasma bolt, then you're screwed for real, super screwed. Then you got the spear gun night night to you like what weapons don't they have at this point yikes there's predators that can use swords you know they just versatile in all kind of combat not only do they have mines but they have like razor blade mines that do stuff like that even strange looking mines like this that can stab you that way nettings that can even hold alien queens dissolving liquid that dissolves human bodies even used as a weapon it freaking dissolved a xenomorph something that's more durable than humans letting you know how dangerous and potent it is bro Dissolve xenomorphs, humans, and even the pool water that's, yeah, de dealing with it. 
We don't even need to talk about the razor whips they can use as long range like that to pull you in closer. Due to their warriors, I would say they can use pretty much any weapon type that's needed because they just have to because when you're a trained warrior, that's what they practice and practice training and stuff, right? And they have a medic kit, so yeah, they're smart enough to heal themselves during battle if they have to. Do what you gotta do. Let's get a sensu bean, right? After I get injured. See that? Talking about intelligence. They have ridiculous self-destructing type of devices in this universe that is a far, that is far more destructive than their physical capability, being able to blow up mountains. In comic lore or in cities, they have self-destructing devices that can be like a nuclear to be able to destroy an entire city. It's scary that they got devices on hand that can destroy pyramids and a whole bunch of different city blocks with just the raw power it can produce self-destructing wise without even needing a nuclear explosion. In different forms of media, you can see how the self-destruct devices are portrayed for the most part, for the most part. As you can see, it's something that can just trigger at will. This is freaking overpowered. Humanity, you gotta get like permission from multiple people to even shoot off on nuke and stuff. This is definitely some city shattering type of stuff. Yeah, look at the devastation. Enough of that standard gear stuff, but there's more to the equation other than that standard gear, like their strength, etc. Let's get into it. When it comes to the hierarchy of this universe, a lot of the different predators are around the same strength level, some having better skills than other ones based on the ranks and the society it is, who's a better warrior. Like Big Red, you got other predators. Then you have other predators that have to fight other enhanced predators like the ultimate predator and stuff like in a, like one of the newer movies who's like a hybrid of a whole bunch of different species and crap. But I'm gonna get to that stuff in a bit. Believe it or not, they are a clan with honor and they believe in like straight up real fights, one-on-ones, without interfering type of stuff, warrior's death, all that good stuff that a clan would believe in modern sense. Whether we're talking about movies, comics, they all have superhuman strength. Even if we're talking about different predators like being able to bend this door open with their raw strength here same with steel cell doors they can rip open with their strength things that are bulletproof like tanks they can claw open with their type of gear this is partly gear and strength put together like literally clawing open tank steel boxes don't stand a chance thanks to the strength you see this copter steel frames use the blades to rip it apart like look at that hydraulic powered security gate he can lift up and overpower it like this with raw brute strength Y'all remember the Aliens vs. Predator movie where they have the two different species fought? <laughs> yeah, I remember it too. In the process of fighting these aliens, he smashes them through stone walls. As a collateral, here you can see them plowing through concrete walls. Poor stone columns don't stand a chance with their strength. How it just slams it through all this stuff. The environment is not the winner here. Aliens is called Xenomorph, for example. Like, look at that. I know this is a feat for the gear, but technically this is impressive to be able to drive this through that stuff. Like, driving it, the spear through stone. He was even able to hold back Queen in this occasion. This is pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. This bigger type of Xenomorph type of thing for quite a bit before they had to make a plan to take it out. Depending on the Predator, if you want to be specific on which one, some of them handle two different Xenomorphs at the same freaking time. One hand each, which is freaking impressive. Even though a lot of these Predators I'm go going over in the video are different beings in in overall general a lot of them like have similar strength even if one is above the other one common thing that predators seem to do and one could say is their signature move is ripping out spines which is actually something in real life that can be calculated and has been calculated no matter which media we're talking about they're always being able to do this to humans in games any form of media when it comes to their head connected to their spine one could say this is not their limit because they do this like with one hand in different sagas whether it be limbs or spines, it's just a reoccurring theme that you it lets you know that that's just their strength. Like right here, strong enough to rip your limbs or spine off like that. On top of the fact they can literally lift up gates like this with their strength, big ones. According to Mav Genius's YouTubers like Vsauce, he's actually calculated that it would take a million newtons of raw power to be able to have the strength to do this to somebody in real life. So yeah, even though there are different predators and the different predators have different strength levels, I would say even the weakest predator can do this. So as a bare minimum, their strength, they can lift at least hundreds of tons at the bare bones minimum. They've done this with one arm. One could say they can do this with one arm and then two arms, they can lift 200 plus tons. It just depends on how you look at it. And of course, punching power and lifting aren't the same thing, but this is a good benchmark because nobody in the history of life ever has like strength to lift a mountain up and then they can only punch with 100 tons of force that just that just doesn't happen it's a nice benchmark if a character doesn't have any other showings so logically speaking that this pretty much means he can punch with at least 100 tons of force as a bare bones minimum not to mention they're trained warriors and most trained warriors can punch harder than what they can live most of the time obviously there's going to be exceptions to the rule but most of the time this is how it works in real life i mean it's just added to the fact we've seen him ragdoll a ton of buffalo predators are not afraid of ripping jaws out if they have to with strength if they have to even if we talk about archie 
comic lore, you see the spines. It's a common thing they always do. Spine ripping is a routine. That's a yikes. No arm for you. Even if we're talking about Dark Horse comics, which is impressive of how he can mangle tank armor like this. Eight men get the heck off of a random predator. He can punch you so hard, your body basically explodes, like just punching through you. Part of that could be piercing damage because they do use blades all the time. Kicking through you. Stupid truck. Windshields, I'm going to use the skull to shatter it. <laughs> it's just a common theme about these heads and getting ripped off with the spine attached to it. It's just their strength thing. That's just their theme. Since they're a warrior race, they of course, gear, they're going to be geared up. Like, they're durable, more durable than a normal human, obviously, from their skin. But they actually wear armor that helps their durability. Their armor can kind of absorb lightning without it really harming them to some degree. In the vicinity of multiple small kind of missiles is kind of okay afterwards. And here got hit by a straight on cannonball exploded and he was good. That's scary. Bazooka stuff that can take down buildings. He withstands it. Explosive rocket. He kept on fighting here. A whole bunch of grenades being strapped to him. Thought it was night night for him. Got hit by all of that BS. But that wasn't it for him. He still had to take a lot more damage to even take him out. Still fighting back in the process after taking all that damage. Don't get me wrong. A lot of these attacks hurt. But he's still able to withstand a lot of this BS regardless of it. Actually hurting this big explosion he ate it. It's not like these things ain't doing no damage to him. These things are doing damage to him. But they are they got really good pain resilience. Like getting shot by a whole bunch of high caliber bullets in the body. And it still can fight through the pain regardless. Usually a shotgun blast to the body would be an instant L for a human but he takes multiple blasts from the body from a shotgun and right here you can see the guns don't do no damage to the armor when he's fully plated up then they get murked like full blown automatic like you know this one, this one in particular is super armored up you ain't getting through their high tech gear and the scary part about this is that they're freaking fast running up to a sports car while it's taking off you kind of walk it down I'd say when it comes to fighting speed you see the line of it him dodging based on the fact they gotta always face gunfire I would say they definitely have at least supersonic level of reaction speed to be able to avoid bullets here and there pull something in the way of the bullets i mean sometimes they're not going to always be armored up so they got to have some way to avoid it sometimes because bullets do damage them by the way sometimes they're armored up sometimes they're not but they're still pretty fast on their feet predators have official movie novelization and if you want to use the things that are actually in the books you get even more lore on certain different type of things that thing moves so fast it almost seemed to be dodging the bullets as it turned and ran down the canyon in official novelization obviously they mentioned it here i dodging bullets they say the bullets he sidestepped the bullets easily. They said those things are fast enough to dodge bullets. Moving faster than their eyes could follow. One of the creatures ran after him moving inhumanly fast. So fast could not properly follow their motions. All of the creatures reflexes were so freakishly fast. Blah, blah, blah when it comes to their speed. you When you're fast enough to kill a being, a xenomorph so fast they don't even have time to react. Talking about getting speed blitzed. I haven't even really got on his gear, but in this occasion something blitzed at him. He threw projectile fast enough before it even got to him novelization seems to be correct but when you see them in live action you can see the way they're avoiding the stuff here hard to even hit these beings if you know what i'm saying on top of their cloaking tech and stuff they can jump through mass gunfire in situations like this imagine having a struggle hitting him and then if you hit him it's not a guarantee you're going to hit his skin you might hit his armor and it might be a pointless shot talking about a headache to take down it's scary when they're already stronger than you but they actually can fight like the skills is ridiculous like if you can't really distinguish what's going on in the movies since it's so dark in some angles you can see in comics he's taking on xenomorphs and stuff like how this elder predator takes down several xenomorphs and etc what just a knife no shooting type of apparatuses like for example only with a wrist blade taking on that xenomorph alien queen it kind of shows that they're strong on what they look the stuff they can slam with just their brute strength even if the beings are way bigger they can still kind of curb stomp them, chop them up and stab them like that. This extreme warrior predator, for example, was on a planet with wrist blades full of alien like beings. He had to survive by himself a hundred years later. He actually took care of all of them, letting you know, yeah, they're beasts. Xenomorphs are quite scary, but against a warrior with this level of strength, they're not ready. They have too much combat IQ, decent amount of fighting IQ. Especially using different staffs in that way. Not to mention he just casually survives 100 years. You know, respectable. It all just makes sense with the lore. Because all the extensive training they have to do. It's almost like they're Saiyans. But in the horror genre. Like anything or ma major decision that's made. It's they got to fight first. They have their own ranking system. Hierarchy. Statuses. You can earn higher if you beat a certain being. Type, that type of thing. You see them in the ring here. To earn your respect in battle. Like a lot of this is just straight up hand to hand fighting too. Legit Street Fighter type stuff. 
Like, they legit have martial arts. Guys, xenomorphs don't want none of the predators. They would just enslave them as dogs, but that's none of my business. Remember earlier I brought up this stuff, and the ultimate predator, for example, is he's actually portrayed to be league stronger than a normal predator. Whatever they can do, this can do better in physical strength. I've already shown that a normal predator can produce hundreds of tons of force. You know how ordinary predator treats a normal human like nothing when it comes to strength, like ripping their head off? That's how this one treating them normal old predator like it's a whole nother level ripping his head off with his spine and everything here's the thing how strong is the ultimate predator versus a normal old predator like we already know a plasma bolt blaster can one shot a normal predator if it hit his bare flesh right but what would happen if that same bolt tried to hit an ultimate predator would it instantly one shot him too plasma canister that usually can one shot other people like them he was able to endure this in the trap not only enduring this, letting you know the power difference still getting shot up after all of this bull crap like all of this team up Flame resistance 2 is not instant. Still managed to take some folks out, even after all of this mess. How much damage can this thing take? So it's definitely more strong and durable than the average, I would say, being mixed with a whole bunch of different species and stuff of that such. But at the end of the day, all of this could be just me. Predators in general is something you cannot sleep on. How strong do you think they are? Did you know they can lift over hundreds or two hundreds of tons at least? Probably can punch even more, maybe with 300 or 400 plus tons of force if you're a trained fighter. It's like when they punch humans, it's like their bodies explode. But what do you guys think? I mean, they got weapons that can literally level an entire city, overpower technology, metals that's not even on the periodic table. They got ships that can travel to different planets, meaning they have to be fast and light, advanced everything, but their strength is something that should not be trifled with and their combat speed. But what do you guys think? I also have to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel. It helps out a lot. Believe it or not, respect the predators in general. Which one's your favorite predator? I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.